What's going on guys, Road King Sano here bringing you another episode of the Dirty Left Shoe Chronicles. You dig, T-Rex edition. Let's get right into it guys. This is the lithium battery upgrade. This is the battery that I went with and I'm gonna keep you guys posted throughout this process um, after it's installed and the performance and whatnot and if this battery is what it say it is I tell you this is definitely a game changer so stay tuned and I'm gonna tell you why so look what came in the mail today we're gonna skip the whole unboxing type thing and all of that because honestly it's kind of played out these days um, and uh, it's time consuming for no reason but I'm gonna get right to it boom Wise, I'm not sure how to pronounce this shit, man. Everyone knows, even uh, Capagna, I, I pronounced that wrong. This is one of their new batteries. As you can see, it's a deep cycle battery and a starter battery as well. LiPo 4, of course, a lithium um, battery. As you can see, 12.8 volts, you know, 12 volts, 60 amp hours, 800 cold cranking amps, guys. If this battery is what it says it is and performs the way the specification says that it should this can be a game changer guys as you know right now just like many of us i'm still rocking my optima yellow top now this is a dual purpose battery but it is marketed as a um deep cycle battery most people who has a t-rex that has any type of modifications going on whether it be systems lights um, what have you, you know what I mean? The possibilities is endless, especially with these things these days. But most people, they end up doing a battery upgrade. Uh, and our preferred battery has always been, or at least for a good amount of time, if you want to run one battery, has been the Optima Yellow Top. Um, and it's great, guys. Make no mistake, this battery has done everything that it was supposed to do and some in terms of performance. Uh, I pretty much have had this particular battery maybe about five six years or so maybe longer again i'd have to really sit down and calculate it but i've had that battery that's in there for a very long time so this is not a thing to where uh the battery went bad or it's not a good quality battery or anything it's just one of those things where we get with time that's all the newer t-rexes they actually come if i'm not mistaken with the lithium battery um standard i'm sure it's one of the smaller lithium batteries i don't think it's it's one of these uh from when i can tell this company they just dropped this battery um not too long ago so again if this battery is what it says it is it could definitely be a, a game changer for all the guys out there that are all looking for a nice battery upgrade at a good price because when i tell you the price of this thing in comparison to what the yellow top costs if it is what it is it's like you're not losing anything by going with the lithium battery i'm gonna go ahead and because i'm gonna put this on my rex and i don't want to mess it up no more than it already is so i'll just put that right there let's grab the battery We'll talk about the battery a little bit. Came really nicely packed. Came with the uh, instruction manual, manual, of course. Also came with everything that you would normally have um, on your yellow top. Or regular battery for that matter. Uh, I just couldn't uh, pull it out one-handed. I had to wiggle it through styrofoam. But I got it right here, man. To be honest, like, <laughs> this battery, considering the size... And, of course, the technology, what it does, guys, this battery already just kind of looks amazing right out of the um, box. Um, this thing can run a car. This is, is promoted to be a starter battery for any automobile and whatnot, dual purpose again. So it's actually set up for more or less like, you know, commercial vehicles, vehicles that's running winches and things of that nature as well as running them. So, you know, who knows if this battery is what it is. I might actually put one of these in a work truck setup. So we shall see. Right off back, right off back I'm going to give you guys a couple of specifications. And most of it is just going to be battery comparison for battery comparison. Okay, so let's start with the optimum battery first, guys. So this is a D34 group battery, um, dash 78. This is a 12 volt battery, 55 amp hours, 750 cold cranking amps, guys. Weight, 
this is the big determining factor and this is one big thing and one big reason why I um, went with this battery why I was curious about this battery okay this battery here this yellow top battery weighs 43 pounds 43.5 pounds actually almost 44 pounds this battery right here this battery right here weighs 13 point I, be, I believe three pounds um, almost 14 pounds just to give you reference the normal ZX 14 battery okay that goes in a ZX 14 motorcycle it's specified online is weighing about 9.4 pounds I've seen people say oh my battery weighs 10 pounds my battery weighs 11 pounds if this battery weighs what it says it weighs and I was gonna go ahead and do a weigh video but a lot of this stuff guys you know what I mean in terms of my ideas with it I'm thinking it might be boring to you guys so I'm not really gonna waste my time with those things we'll just go off of it as it's stated and as it said specified but let's just say ZX14 battery weighs 10 pounds 9.4 Someone said 11, this, that, and the third. Let's say it weighs 10 pounds. This battery right here, let's say it weighs 14 pounds. This new battery is only about four pounds heavier than your standard lead acid ZX14 motorcycle battery. And it packs a hell of a punch. At least it's supposed to. That's gonna be to be determined but as of right now we're going to go with the specifications say and with you know with they claiming because reality is i hope it works if not i'm sending that shit back you know what i mean so now let's talk some um some measurements guys because you're going to want to know of course if this battery will be able to fit in this setup length of this yellow top is 10.06 inches width is 6.94 inches and height is 7.88 inches okay terminals dual of course top sae deep cycle and cranking power of course dual purpose up to three times longer life 15 times more vibration resistance virtually spill proof mountable in virtually any position maintenance free faster charging optimal starting power 300 plus discharge and recharge cycles okay nothing bad to say about this battery uh, battery's been great to me I haven't had any issues I did have an issue one time where it seemed to lose its charge and I was able to bring it back um, I took it in and uh, I was able to slow charge it and bring it back I got a lot of years on that battery now let's talk about this battery guys and then we'll kind of conclude this video and stay tuned for the install I probably won't make a video on the install but stay tuned to the verdict with this battery and we'll start running like some tests with it do some highway runs we'll crank the system up things of that nature uh, of course you've seen the full LED setup and we're gonna see what this thing can do as you can see 12.8 volt 12 volt battery the big thing that you know between these two is amp hours this is a 60 amp hour capacity this is a 55 amp hour capacity so you're getting five more uh, amp hours with this dual purpose setup with this lithium setup cold cranking amps with this setup we got 800 cold cranking amps okay standard charge voltage for this setup is 14.6 volts discharge cutoff voltage is 12 volts um and the weight of this battery guys as you heard me say before which is a big thing the weight of this battery is 13.3 pounds that's what it's marketed as um, I'm not gonna put it on a scale or anything I'm just gonna take it for what it's worth even if it's 14 pounds that's still hella light compared to a battery that's pretty much 44 pounds or so let's talk measurements real quick for measurements length of this battery is 9.06 inches width is 6.89 and height is 7.88 so this battery should fit right in this compartment with no issues even from a height standpoint by it being so light i might not even have to use the top that i have for the uh for the um battery tray I'm gonna, you know, see how it mounts in there. I might just use some straps, you know what I mean? 
I'm gonna try and keep it as clean and keep it, you know, nice looking as possible. We don't want it janky. With the specs between these two, the biggest thing that I want to let you guys know outside of the weight and the honest to goodness reason why I went with this setup. And I'm gonna talk to you in a later video about other companies out there, guys, that offer lithium batteries. Um, but this battery, $299 on Amazon, $299 on Amazon. Might be the cheapest dual purpose lithium battery setup for what we are intending to use it for out there. Okay, so this could be the cheapest battery on Amazon out there, okay? Um, these batteries, for people who have purchased yellow tops, they know you're gonna pay about 300, a little over three, sometimes a little less than three, but it's pretty much close to the same amount that you're paying for this lithium setup anyways you see what i'm saying so if this is what it says it is this will be the better purchase and the better setup in terms of being able to run everything that you need to run and more given the chemistry with this battery setup versus the um optima not to say that the optima is still not good but let's be real guys lighter and more power is always better okay so we'll leave it like that also for reference i want to let you all know i'm not going to turn the rex on yet but my volt reading normally on my gauge cluster for the yellow top battery if i had it sitting um maybe if i rode it a day or two ago let's say for reference uh maybe a day or so ago it normally a start and will normally sit at around 14.0 to 14.1 It'll drop down to maybe 13.9, um, but it kind of floats around that range, so it do, does hold a good charge. Anybody who knows these gauges and knows these clusters, you know, you can't take it for, you know, exactly what it is. But what it's basically saying is that it's holding the optimal charge. It's holding the charge um, that's suitable for what I'm doing. I don't have to really put this battery on a charger much. But I do have a uh, quick disconnect lever that I use. It's right up under here and I just take it and pull it over to the side and it completely disconnects the battery from the unit. So I don't have to worry about any type of uh, drain on the battery that might be coming from, you know, light setup system or some type of parasitic drain or something like that. So outside of that, guys, I plan on hooking this particular battery up the same way and we're gonna see how well it performs. So stay tuned it'll be a link for this battery in the comment section below but please understand i am not endorsing this battery and saying oh this is the greatest battery in the world or anything of that nature at the moment because i have not tried this battery yet i'm gonna try this battery let you guys know my thoughts and then it can be your choice but it will be a link to the battery um in the description it'll be a link on in this video as well as the next video but again i purchased this battery myself no one sent it out to me they didn't say oh could you do a, re a review on the battery or anything of that nature i did reach out but i didn't hear anything back but it goes to show you that i did want to see what this battery was talking about because given the specs and the price point if it is what it is, you can't go wrong. Same price, guys. $299. I'm going to pick that. I've had good experiences with the lithium battery, so I can't speak for everyone else. So stay tuned, guys. Another vi video to come. If you haven't done so already, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Most of all, share this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.